Hey there, what's up? Uh, I'm gonna show you a product today that uh, is getting some good reviews on various YouTube clips, but I think it's a very horrible product. Uh, probably the worst one of any head-mounted display I've ever used. They're called the Glasses. Clever title. By my view, you've probably seen my view head-mounted displays at Best Buy or Fry's Electronics or some places like that. They're very, very, very small uh, video glasses. And if you don't know about video glasses, basically there's a screen in each eyepiece in them, uh, which projects a small image inside. And when looking at both in both eyes at the same time, it makes you feel like you're looking at a big screen uh, floating in front of you, which is complete bull because that's not really what the experience is like with these. They're really just like looking into two camcorder eyepieces at the same time and you just sort of have to convince yourself that it's a big screen you see. But the MyView glasses are particularly horrible uh, because the screen size inside the things is so small. It's smaller than any head-mounted display I've ever used. I mean, you, they usually strike you as small, the images inside, whenever you use any product like this, really, you know, especially at first. But man, the screen size inside is so small, you have to strain your eyes to see the thing. It really defeats the whole purpose of something like this. The whole purpose of having glasses like these is so that you can have a big screen in front of you without having to have a big unit. If I have to look at a tiny little screen inside, why wouldn't I just look at the tiny screen on my iPod? I mean, ask yourself that. What is the point of these if the screen inside is so small and hurts your eyes? There are practicality issues with this unit right from the get-go. Cords are always an issue with anything you're putting on your face and these glasses have two cords coming out of it and they're thick cords that you can feel the weight of. The headphones are sound canceling but they're not high quality headphones by any means. The length of the cord from the glasses to the battery AV box is very short. They say on their website that you can undo the magnetic clip and throw the cords over your shoulder like a continental soldier but you can especially feel the weight of the cords down your back that way and then when it's over your shoulder the controls are out of reach because of the crappy short length of the cords another kinda annoying problem with these things is the sensitivity of where the uh, plug plugs into the audio video there um, what I mean is this cord comes undone very easily if you just slightly tug on the cord and it just comes out of the socket just a little tiny fraction of a millimeter uh, one eyepiece in your glasses will go dim and you'll start thinking that thing is broken or something but this thing just keeps always slipping out a little bit all the time especially when I'm even holding on to it and I'm being careful I have no idea, but it's just so weak. The control scheme of this control pad is basically you have a volume up and a volume down. You have a brightness button and a contrast button um, all together, kind of like a eight di four directional joy pad. Um, this seems pretty okay. It's just that it's kind of like a PSP. If you've ever had a PSP and switched the brightness on it, you notice there's three different brightness settings, but there's not really specific control over brightness. So you just have to sort of live with the three settings that they have for you. And really, uh, uh, it's sort of okay because when you're in the pitch dark of night, you might kind of want the brightness down to a dim level. But um, most all the time, you're only going to be on one setting. Contrast has four uh, settings. Um, again, which is cool, it's just it would be much better if you had uh, very fine tuning ability to be able to switch that stuff around. The volume is the same way. In fact, uh, I pressed the volume down button several times, and it it doesn't even get to anywhere near quiet. The lowest volume setting the movie was still too loud. 
and I, and I basically had to turn down the external volume of my device, which was just really pathetic. I mean, I can't believe you don't have just like a dial on the side. I mean, what, what's wrong with that? When you get your my view glasses, they come with uh, pretty much everything you see here, um, except for those little adapters, three adapters at the bottom of the screen. But you get the unit itself, of course. You get three different video cords for iPod video. Um, of course, iPod Touch uh, accessory is not included. You have to pay an extra 25 bucks for that or so, which is really stupid. Just like another pair of similar glasses I bought before. Uh, comes with a USB cable. Uh, charges via USB from your computer. The unit does not come with an AC adapter, which is uh, also kind of stupid. Um, I don't understand why it wouldn't come with something like that, but it doesn't. And basically it just comes with what you see here. And they couldn't even be bothered to put an instruction manual in with the box. You have to go online to look at a user manual. Um, picture quality is always hard to explain to people when uh, concerning these head-mounted displays that come out. Really, the smaller the screen looks like inside, the worse you are off because obviously uh, text is very hard to read on these things and you might be a, an Asian cinema lover and need to be able to read subtitles on the screen I got news for you you're gonna wanna watch everything in full screen on these things because widescreen takes an already small dinky little screen and makes it even smaller and which makes a uh, subtitles even that much harder to read it, you can pretty much forget about being able to read subtitles on these unless you just have the best vision ever and you don't mind uh, looking at a screen that looks like you're looking at it through a tiny hole in the wall at your neighbor's house or something um, screen size makes these makes the resolution uh, completely pointless anyway uh, which is fairly decent it's about uh, it's it's comparable to a decent VGA PC monitor from about maybe 20 years ago, maybe we'll say. Um, yeah, I could always talk about pixels, but I don't really know what they are. I grew up uh, being very fascinated with head-mounted displays. Um, they used to be your gateway to immersing yourself in a video game environment. Gamers stay away from these things. They are not for gaming. They are not for immersing yourself in a game environment. They are not for gaming uh, of any kind whatsoever. They're really pointless. I want to say they're just for watching movies on, but I wouldn't even want to watch movies on these. The screen is so small. If you're a gamer and you're looking for an immersive gaming experience, the eyeglasses from the mid-90s still hold up as the best uh, product to do so, in my opinion. Especially the LCD model pictured here, which has stereoscopic 3D capability on the side. Um, that's something that the MyView glasses don't even touch. And the design's even better and more comfortable for these. Which it's just hard to believe that HMDs have not gotten better over the years. Uh, what struck me about the MyView glasses and what ultimately made me buy them was their insanely cheap price. I, could, I got mine for about $85 with free shipping. Um, they go for about 100 on their website, and 100 is the lowest I've ever seen for a head-mounted display before. And I'm not surprised that they are that cheap because they are just the smallest little screen-sized uh, glasses I've ever seen. Um, you get what you pay for in this case. In fact, I think they're worth a lot less than 100 bucks, And uh, they really reflect a cost-cutting technology. Ultimately, I would have to suggest that you don't get carried away by the cheap price of these. They're not worth the money at all. They just they don't measure up to the standards that head-mounted displays should live up to. The screen size inside is just too small. They're too uncomfortable. Uh, there's too many cords. Uh, it's not a practical system at all. It's not practical. Uh, the design has a long way to go. My view's new line of my view glasses has a long way to go. That's all I can say. Just avoid uh, these glasses and avoid anything from my view for 
some time.